Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. Uh, welcome to Smitty Reacts. And, uh, yo, I'm just kind of going down the rabbit hole tonight. <laughs> yo, already, like, I just dropped that, uh, I just did my reaction to CL um, not too long ago um, at the recording of this video. And um, just already I'm seeing uh, requests and suggestions. And uh, this is one of the ones that are like, yo, like, if you like that video, there's some conspiracy stuff already brewing about, you know, if this video is connected to that video, meaning there might be some continuity between the two of them. And they're like, yo, go ahead and check out some DPR. Uh, is it DPR Ian? Is that how you guys say the name? I'm not sure how to, how to say the name properly. Let me know below if, that, if I said that right. But the name of the song is so beautiful. So I'll, uh, who, who suggested that? Let me take a look. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. Uh, welcome to Smitty Reacts. If you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Um, this morning, we're going to be checking out some Dream Theater. Um, it looks like they have a release coming out here in the next couple of minutes or so. Um, not sure exactly what this is, because um, I'm not really up on Dream Theater like that. <laughs> so it's going to start here in about two minutes. I'm, I'm on gonna pause it and just kind of fast fast scrub through the through that part of it uh but yo shout out to all the new subscribers is what i was gonna say shout out to all the new listeners and uh thanks for all the people that have been down here uh for dream theater you know what i'm saying like i know i've gotten a lot of suggestions to check out their music um from geez from throughout the <laughs> from over the course of decades i'm like oh my gosh I'm still pretty new to Dream Theater. Like I, I didn't know that I didn't know about them until, you know, recently. So I'm like, I'm, I'm definitely on catch up mode with them. So with that being said, if anybody knows about this song, if this is like a re-release or if this is a new project, let me know. Um, give me all the information about this particular song because I'm, I'm definitely curious to see, you know, what this is. Like I've asked in the comments what this is about, and you know, chats over here going wild. <laughs> So two quick things before I get started. Uh, one, I'm gonna be probably pausing this video uh, more than likely because if it's like a full album release or whatever, I don't know exactly what this is. If it's just a full song, I'm, I'm anticipating it to be long, but I wanna let you guys know in advance, I'm gonna be chopping it up because I like to get my thoughts out. So if you don't like that, if you're not a fan of that, that's something you don't wanna do. I totally get it. I totally understand, I respect it even. I'll put a link to this video in the description box below. That way you get a chance to watch it without me which makes me sad to think about it but i totally understand you know what i'm saying it's a brand new video i'm not sure what this is so here we go <laughs> and then of course please 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 holler at your boy when you like comment share subscribe if you if you share it somewhere just say hey marvin i shared this over here on facebook or hey marvin i shared this over here on reddit or whatever the case might be you know what i'm saying just let me know you know what i'm saying where it's at I'm always curious to see what Ooh, that was loud. But anyway, uh, yo, I'm, I'm here for it. Oh, and one more quick thing. I did a lot of um, kind of channel maintenance more than anything. I went and cleaned up some stuff. So I'm making, I'm trying to make things easier to find. So at the end of the videos, oops, that's about to start. At the end of the videos, I'm going to um, put links to the playlist that they're in. So for Dream Theater, I've already got a few songs up from them already. I'll put that um, at the end of the video with the link to the entire Dream Theater playlist. That way you can kind of see what I've done so far from them. Um, in case you have any more recommendations or suggestions. That way you can just kind of at least see what I've got and then suggest around that. So anyway, I'm already late to this video. Let me go ahead and hit the start button in six seconds. Let's do the official front down. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Alone at night I feel so strange I need to find All the answers 
Yo, I like that lick right there. That drum lick right there. Man, man, Dream Theater just so far has not disappointed at all. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. Just for the little bit I've gotten into them. Man, this is this is already, you know what I'm saying, giving those epic, epic tail vibes. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've been learning more about the band. I'll talk about that here in a minute, but I want to get to this 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 video first. So let's get let's get back to it. His voice is nice, super powerful. I like that high note too, man. I I, I like the fact that they picked him up as a singer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what I was gonna say. I've been researching Dream Theater a little bit, and uh, anyway, I'll get back to it. Already just epic right here, man. Come on, man. We're only a couple minutes in, and I already know this, this this right here is another classic. They put on a full-on clinic right here. Um, what I was gonna say, but <laughs> I paused earlier. I went back and I watched a uh entire Dream Theater documentary for real. Like, I was like, let me just line up on this band real quick. Like, they've been around since the 80s. Let me go check up on them. And saw the different lineup changes they've had over the years. You know what I'm saying? Even before they were famous, they had lineup changes. I think out of the group right now, there's only like, what, two original members technically? Um, from what I've seen here. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, this dude, this gentleman right here. Y'all have to give me his name. I, I can't think of it at the moment. But, uh, yeah, man, the, uh, I think it's shit. And the bass player, everybody else is essentially rotated out. Like, they got it couple of different singers in the lineup at one point they've had different drummers like two different drummers now and what one two i think two or three keyboardists which this keyboard is being the latest one but he's 
in my opinion, the best one that I saw out of the three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, they're still offering, like, something different. You know what I'm saying? Something very unique and mysterious in a way. You know what I'm saying? From what I've seen. So anyway, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to go off on a tangent about the Dream Theater uh, documentary. But I'm just saying, like, I watched that thing. It was like an hour and a half, almost two hour documentary. And I was like, I don't care. I'm watching it. And it was just fascinating to see how the band just wanted to persist. They just like, we're not giving up on this music thing. We're not giving up on our dreams and the way that we want to present music and express ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We want to go out here and do our thing. So I like that just from that perspective and that persistence aspect of it. So anyway, sorry to talk so much. Let me get back to the music. hit that scale of the oh my god that was ridiculous Like that pocket that they're in right there that didn't but that didn't that but that but but uh but he's but he's still like able to like okay follow me on this one follow me real quick and y'all might not like this analogy but i'm gonna give it to y'all anyway that almost right there was almost like um uh, in my opinion almost comparable to rap in a way i'm gonna i'm gonna, and I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna connect these real quick if you ever listen to I, a cipher uh just being like a rap battle or a rap you know group of folks or whatever a lot of the times what they do is they'll pick a simple beat like da 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 and then the dude that's actually rapping at that time will just riff hopefully off the top or whatever you know what i'm saying in terms of like um freestyling and stuff like that they'll do freestyle off the beat to the beat is that how i want to say it yeah anyway but they can go wherever they want. Sometimes the patterns might be different. Sometimes it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it'll just fall in line. But anyway, maybe that was a weird analogy. <laughs> it made sense when it popped in here. But at the same time, like, I I just appreciate the fact that, you know, if he's going off on that, like, the pocket is where it is. You know what I'm saying? The beat is where it is. You got you got the parameters you can work in. But in the middle of that, he can just go off. He can go all creative and then do everything he wants to do on the keyboard, you know what I'm saying? So that that's what I grabbed out of that. I'm sorry. I <laughs> it's just a little thing for me as a as a rap fan. Traditionally, I'm a rap and hip-hop fan, you know what I'm saying? But 
I, I like that. Anyway, that's just kind of a weird thing it reminded me of. Uh, also, one more quick thing before I hit start again. I can also kind of tell what time this is in, in terms of technology, if that makes sense. I'm looking at the keyboard is, and I remember some of the older videos. I saw the iPad that he was using for his, um, for his music sheet. And it was like an older iPad. And I can look over here and tell it's newer because one, he has a giant iPad that he's using. Um, he's got two of them, actually. <laughs> one for the sheet music and the other one for uh, probably his beat samples or um, I'm not sure what that other one is used for. I have to look and see what that is again. But anyway, I can always tell this is new. <laughs> anyway, let me get back to this thing, man. This, this thing is dope right here. Oh, give the drummer some. L and the keys are coming. Give the keys are some love. Also, that's a new key tar. Hey. Is that it? Was that all? Oh no, you can't do that to me, Dream Theater. Oh no, Dream Theater, you can't do that to me. Oh no, you can't just end it like that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> so my guess is this is probably a teaser for this album, uh, or this show anyway, The Fatal Tragedy from Distant Memory. Oh, okay, so this was a live performance uh, from this concert, okay. Distant Memories Live in London, pre-order now. Okay, 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 I got it. I get it. I get it. Distant Memories is the the show. <sighs> Y'all really gonna have me out here buying um, Dream Theater DVDs. <laughs> Dream Theater merchandise, man. I'm gonna be out here with a Dream Theater shirt on, Dream Theater hat, and Dream Theater socks fooling around with y'all you know what i'm saying like i might have to go out and cop me a shirt man i'm a oh, shoot I, you see i got it from metallica the metallica shirt though i got from the from a metallica show so don't be like oh he's one of them hipster dudes you know what i'm saying rock a metallica shirt he don't even know who they are that i will say i do know who metallica is i've been to a metallica concert you know what i'm saying i enjoyed myself thoroughly you know what i'm saying i got pictures to prove it <laughs> it's in the intro even if you look close and um yeah i've been listen to metallica at least since the early oh i'm sorry the mid to late 80s you know what i'm saying so about the same time i guess dream theater was out but i didn't i didn't know of them you know i, I wasn't aware of them my friends that i was in uh, that i was hanging out with at the time kind of had like some different music tastes but metallica just happened to be one of the ones that that they liked so anyway not that i'm trying to compare metallica, metallica to dream theater at all like definitely different vibes and uh you know, but anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed this fatal tragedy from distant memories. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, shout out to Dream Theater and shout out to everybody that, you know, saying has been recommending Dream Theater to me. Like, I, I definitely appreciate it. I've been definitely taking in the comments and um, what I've been doing is trying to consolidate all my playlists together. That way, like I have all the Dream Theater stuff together. And that also makes it easier for me to go back and uh, roll through the comments. That way I can just kind of find suggestions easier. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just be able to react to the music you guys are asking me to check out. So, anyway. Just want to throw that out there. So, yo. I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for um, watching all the way to the end. And how do you know it's the end? Why? Because I'm going to tell you it's the end. Because <laughs> I'm about to stop talking. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, hey. Just thanks for being around. I appreciate that. I really do. So I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing so forth. Uh, this is Smitty Reacts, your host, Marvin. Um, y'all take care of yourself. Behave. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you in the next video. All right? Peace.